Very well. Let me let me let me bring in um uh, a boy who is joining us um from Lagos here in Nigeria. Um, so boy, I mean, of course, we saw also. I mean, we're all aware about um earlier last week there was the um that's actually on Tuesday. Um, there was the International Day um for you know internet safety. I mean, safer internet day, so to speak. Now, and it's all talking about how uh, this year's team was together. You know. Uh, uh, having a better internet, uh, internet space together. I mean, but looking at how do we bring that and how do we channel that down now, you know, especially for Nigeria where we're having elections? How do we make it better? Or how do we cohabit together and in a better way? Okay, so I think for me, it's the important thing as, as an individual internet user is to first realize that you do not have control over what the other person is doing. But you, as, but you very well have uh, control on what you do and uh, what you allow to spread via your platform. So I think well, the first thing I would say is like, it's important as an individual internet user, a lover of peace, who doesn't want to start a fire that even he will not be able to you know, stop or control. The what most important is that we, this is a time to be very conscious. Uh, this is a time where there will be pent up emotions, where uh, people get easily triggered because people are emotionally attached to the issue of election. And that we should also be very conscious that there are people who are deliberately going to be pushing out propaganda. So that's why I say that even when you don't have power to control over what the other person will do, you have to be very conscious about what we do. In terms of, do not be quick to share content. So somebody puts something, you want to be very quick to share it. This is not the time to do that. This is time to be very, very sure. This is time to double check information, facts check before you join the spreading information. So that, I mean, because we see cases where people, you know, uh, not like the internet to start a fire. Somebody does send them an information they want, because they also want the information to spread. They start sharing them. It becomes something that cannot be controlled. So, so are, 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 you, are, you, um, are you practically saying that um, every individual has that um, moral obligation not to share? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is not the time to be quick to share information. This is the time to double check, triple check, multiple check information before you even engage that information. Everybody must take, um, every, uh, every security citizen of Nigeria must take that as a duty, not to be too quick to join in sharing information during the election, because there are people who are going to deliberately push propaganda, and uh, we don't want to fall victim of that. And in the general interest of safety, uh, for the country, it's very important uh, not to, to, to right. fall victim. Uh, yeah. uh, again, I'll come back to you, but let's uh, also get to hear from uh, Kaladi. Kaladi, I mean, um, one thing um, virtually almost everyone has agreed is how powerful social media and the internet can be. But looking at where we are at the moment, talking about how uh, one can be responsible, talking about how one has, needs to, you know, double check, quadruple check, uh, and all of that. I mean, we've also had in recent past, you know, how elections, you know, have been positively, of course, affected by the internet. So why should we be taking a different step? Okay, thank you, Victor. The truth is, um, well, I, I always say this about social media. Social media can build and it can destroy. It depends on the way you're using it. And for me, it's always gives me concern the way Nigerians use social media because they use it the negative way. They use it to promote the negativity of something and not the positivity. But this forthcoming election, the truth is, I keep telling people, you have control, at least a limited control over what the next person does on social media. You can always report. I've reported people and they will just investigate if truly you have evidence of what this person is saying is... Um, can, can, can cause chaos or can do things, social media, they will bring the account down. As simple as it is. Once you can give them three proof. I've seen people have reported, I've seen people who, who do it. Once you can submit so, three proof that truly this person said the comments. So instead, instead, in, 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 instead of blocking the person, you just report. Yes, instead of blocking, because if you block the person, just imagine about millions of people who are not in code savvy, who do not even know anything, who are just new on the platform. They just take the information and, 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 and suck it in. You get it and just run by what that information is saying. But what you can do to help the country called Nigeria and to help the process of our election is if you see such, if you see a consistent pattern in this person that what this person is teaching out can bring down the nation, report it and attach the evidence about just the post. 
of what the person have said that you know that is abusive or that you know that is not worthy of saying on just report it and they will, they will block the account after doing their investigation once we begin to do that people will begin to sit up but after saying that the truth is we also don't have full control of what we do online so don't help promote propaganda don't help promote based on what others have said just know what you take in, and but we also need to help people others though, because not everybody can 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 can, can do something. Some people are just there to just read and just forward. Yeah. All right. Again, I mean that's one of the um, issues. But you know, let, let me let me hold you for, there for a bit. Let me let me come back to you now. So the issue of there's this um, there's this thing that goes around. Um, you know, forwarded as received. Mm. Mm. You yes. know, so you could. I, I mean, it could yes. have gone through a lot of people. A lot of How people. do we stop that? Well, <laughs> stopping that, yeah. I would say um, I'm not sure it can be stopped because sometimes if you notice, you might have seen some forwarded messages, messages. Yeah. maybe a month, two months prior to the time that somebody else is seeing it. And then the person, it's fresh for the person, but the person is now sending it to you because it's That's news fresh. to them. Yeah. So um, you, it goes to show you that these things actually go around and still comes back. So from what they have been saying, yeah. I would say that everybody should be, hold, uh, they should be held accountable and also yes exactly because uh, sorry i do want to add also yeah. that you know um like they give there's an adage that they gave uh, blind people to describe an elephant and someone uh, one of them was touching the trunk mm -hmm. one was touching the legs one was touching the body so they described the elephant in, in different, different ways. ways yes so we have news in different places the information you have each person describes it in their own interpretation with mm. their own interpretation yeah, okay. and definitely things being forwarded things being forwarded somebody would have added their own information also and to forwarded. it and yeah, forwarded yeah. let me just hold you there for a bit i will take a quick break and we'll be back in a moment please stay with us <laughs> 